This is not my first YouTube video, but it is my first talking, showing my face. Um, I'm a little self-conscious with my voice and my face. But keep watching if you want to see a typical day in my life studying architecture in Paris. And without further ado, let's get started. My name is Kiara. Um, I make fun montage YouTube videos, but today I'm doing something fun, different showing my face for the first time. I don't really like speaking in videos. I feel a little weird talking to a camera. Um, so that's why I'm in my bedroom. But I'm off to school and I would love to show you a day in my life. After waking up in the morning, I leave the house to start my day and listen to music or even a podcast while I enjoy the most beautiful walk across my favorite bridge Pont des Arts and along the Seine. This is probably one of the most peaceful parts of my entire day. Cute little outfit of the day. Have my Adidas forms on, my Paul Marius school bag, garage trench, brandy t shirt, which is Lexi's, and thrifted this in Paris last summer, just a silk kind of off white skirt. I take the metro to school every day and it's about a 30 to 35 minute commute from my house. Here's a little sneak peek of my architecture university in Paris and I never thought I'd say this but I'm loving the fact that all my classes are in French. As you can see the campus is super quaint and the inner courtyard feels like a big cozy backyard. I then make my way to the architecture studio which I worked on a model for with my friend the entire day. The school that I met focuses on physical models and my professor especially loves a physical maquette. This is something I wasn't used to doing back in Montreal. That being said, I'm starting to enjoy making models, especially when I'm surrounded by lovely people like this girl, Bianca. After spending all day in studio, we got to leave for a tiny break before our next class. I'm taking a really cool elective on film photography, and we've learned how to develop film from A to Z. It's a really long process, but you learn to appreciate the art of not only taking a photo, but also being able to see how a photograph is produced. I've only ever had a disposable camera, so now using a film camera is extremely special and I'm super lucky to be in this course. I have all my rings on, my control ring, argent tonique, uh, Tiffany I believe, and my mom's jeweler. And then I have my little Tiffany necklace that I wear religiously, and yeah. My school is near Canal Saint Martin, and my friend and I stumbled across the cutest cafe on our hour long break, which I really recommend. It was cozy, cute, and the coffee was really good. Also, it was really nice to catch up with a good friend and wind down after a long day of classes. For me, working in an environment that isn't home makes me focus better and not get distracted. My favorite places to be are either this co-working space or Le Floor. Sometimes I go here in the afternoons or on the weekends, but I try to stay away from home when it comes to schoolwork. I feel like being in a working environment or even a coffee shop can really make you feel more uplifted and motivated to work. Also, here's a reminder to not be so hard on yourself. And if you don't get that paper in, or if you don't get that A, it's okay. School is not everything. Yes, it's important, but at the end of the day, life is more important. 
My mom always told me that you need balance in your life. And this is why some nights I choose to go out with my friends and forget about my schoolwork or paperwork that needs to get done. This night we went to the Eiffel Tower, then we headed to Le Chic, and I FaceTimed my dad at the Eiffel Tower, which was really wholesome and sweet. Hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to show you more of my experience in Paris. If you have any questions about studying abroad or any questions in general, feel free to ask me and I would love to answer. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. A bientôt.